now we're going to talk a little bit about crawl space venting and the formula and how to figure out how much venting a crawl space actually needs. Uh, we've been talking in this series about attic insulation, attic ventilation, sidewall dense pack, how to repair drywall, and what you need to prepare your attic for vent or insulation. Well, now we're going to talk about the crawl space. The formula for figuring out crawl space ventilation is one square foot of net free vent venting for 1,500 square feet of crawl space. We're just going to use this as an example. I got a crawl space that's 20 foot by 30 foot. So I'm going to try to find the area of that. And I'm simply going to take 20 foot times 30 foot and that comes up to 600 square feet. Well again, the formula, I need one square foot of net free venting per 1500 square feet. So I'm going to take 600 and divide 1500 into it. That comes out to 0 0.40. Well, that's in feet. So I need to change that into inches. And how I'm going to do that is, I'm going to take my 0 0.40 and multiply that by 144, because that's how many square inches are in one square foot. That comes up to 57.6 square inches. Well, I'm, I'm going to naturally round up because I'm probably not going to find that particular size vent, which that gives me 58 square inches is what I need to vent that crawl space. And that is 58 net free vent area for that particular vent. Now on the video that, I'm, that you're about to see, most of your vents on the packaging, it tells you how much net free vent area it has. So don't be afraid to read the package on, on the particular vent that you're buying. We need to talk a little bit about the vapor barrier in your crawl space as well. Um, and how we need to do that, mind you, when you install a vapor barrier, it has to at least go up your foundation walls at least 12 inches. Now it can go more. Uh, we had some questions in chat uh, a few sessions back about what do you do for a cobblestone foundation or sandstone foundation and that might be your go-to is to take that plastic all the way up to the seal plate on that home or nail it up to the, the floor joist and put some sort of sealant up there. But in this demonstration we got a decent home and we're just going to run it up the foot up the foundation walls. So I'm going to stick with the one that we was messing with earlier, our 20 foot by 30 foot. Now remember, you have to have it go up one foot on each side of the wall. So I drew this little dotted line, it may seem redundant, but it, you know, it helps me remember. So not only is this 20 foot, it now turned into 22 feet wide. And this was 30 feet, but now it's turned into 32 feet because I need that additional to go up the sidewalls of the foundation walls. So I'm going to take 22 feet by 32 feet, and that gives me 54 square feet of plastic that I'm going to need as far as a vapor barrier in that crawl space. But there's one thing, and it, and it has to be 6 mil plastic. But there's one thing that we often forget about. Plastic sometimes is only 10 foot wide. You know, we, we do have our limitations on that. So if you run into a situation where your plastic isn't wide enough to cover the whole area of the crawl space width, you're going to have to overlap it. That's why I drew this little dotted line here. Now when you overlap the plastic, you need to overlap it at least one foot means you have one foot on the bottom overlapped and one feet on the top overlapped and you're going to use some sort of spray adhesive. Um, if you're using silicone caulking you're going to have to wave it around. That way you get a good seal on that one foot overlap and that's probably what you're going to have to do. And you're probably not going to be able to do that in the crawl space so that may be something that you think about doing in the yard or the home that you're working in. That way you have more space fold it towards the center in such a manner that when you're putting that piece of plastic into the crawl space, you put it in the center and you roll it out towards the edges because it's already going to be uncomfortable in the crawl space, could be wet in there to some degree. So you want to make it as easy as possible to unroll that plastic to be able to adhere 
to the walls of your foundation. But this, in a nutshell, is how you figure out how many square feet of six mil plastic it's going to take to create a good vapor barrier in your crawl space.